Welcome Pisces. We're going to look at what it is that you may need guidance with over the next couple of weeks, okay? Uh, using the Druid Wisdom Cards, also the Mystical Journey Oracle, and the Lightseer's Tarot. Okay, Pisces, let's start with Druid Wisdom and see what comes out for you. Okay, Pisces, three cards for Pisces, please. Cards. So we've got the Stone of Oban to begin with. Wow. Wow, we look at this. Pisces. Well of Memories. Oh, we've got two cards trying to pop out here, and I'm not sure which one. So if one of those was meant to come out and be for you, it will come out, Pisces. <laughs> Try again. Here we go. No, actually, that's wrong. I need to do this first. Um, do you know what, Pisces? I feel like there's something about you. There's something about you rising up, in a sense. Um... There's something about you being seen, standing out from the crowd. Let's have a look. Stone of Oban. Do not forget the importance of the company you keep. Friendship is a warm fire to stoke. It's comfort we reap. Oh, I like that. Carry ocean jasper to ease anxiety and lift your spirit. Ah, yes, that's what that lifting up, that rising up is about, right? Sorry, it's kind of hard to see sometimes. Or it could just be my eyes. Anyway, the next card here, Pisces, is Well of Memories. I don't know which way that goes, but we'll go this way. Well of Memories. Remember the wise witches whose lives were cruelly ceased? Their spells linger in Edinburgh at the morning dawn's peace. Carry Chrysophorus. <laughs> I'll, I'll spell it for you. C H R Y S O P R A X E. Chrysoprase. Chrysoprase. For. Forgiveness and release. Interesting. Kind of like when I was reading that, I got this thing about, you know, the vibration that we put out there, right? It's never ending. Whatever we um, we project out, it remains. It doesn't actually dissipate into nothing. It remains always a bit like the witch's spells, right? So maybe it is the case, Pisces, that you need to be mindful of your spoken word. Three cards. We only want one card here. One card for Pisces. That's three. Pisces, gosh. One card for Pisces, please. Thanks. Cave of Echoes. Wow. These are awesome cards, man. Okay, so can you hear the echo of music in Fingal's cave within? Your heart always has a song to sing. A retreat will do good for the soul. So if you've been thinking about going on a retreat, Pisces, it's a good time. Carry aquamarine aqua for calm and clarity. Um, if you can't get hold of any of these things that it says to carry around with you, you could always like print out a um, image of them and carry that around and set the intention that you know it is doing for you what it it is um, what what is needed. Okay, so Pisces, first card out for Pisces, please tell me about this. 
shadow work Pisces shadow work okay I'm just going to bring these down here because I feel like I, I wonder with the shadow work Pisces sorry did I even show you probably not if um if you because the stoner oban is, is is jumping out at me here do not forget the importance of the company you keep friendship is a warm fire to stoke it's comfort we reap I feel like Pisces it's important for you to be aware of those around you not necessarily in the sense of family per se but the people you've chosen to have around you okay and be aware of anything that um, maybe is causing irritation in you or, or causing some sort of negative emotion or reaction okay because this will highlight to you the work that you need to do internally this will highlight your shadow to you okay um we've got justice flip over here but i don't feel that was right because it didn't flip out the way i wanted it to but if it flips out again it was meant to be tell me more about shadow work for pisces please yeah like i feel like there's um the sort of awareness that's coming to you okay if it hasn't if it's not here already it's coming Pisces and um, there's some sort of connection that is going to take place for you okay and and I feel as though maybe the shadow work um, actually releasing some things that you um, you need to release um, will help with this connection okay now um, just backtracking a little bit on that in that when there are people around you or situations that may be really irritating you um, those are the things that are being shown to you that need to be cleared okay and because it's sort of like there's more focus on those things um and so once you clear that then this connection will be able to be made i'm not sure what the connection is whether it's to it could be to your higher self but for some of you i'm getting that it's to another person yeah look at this i love this 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 is this friendship thing around you right get your friends gathered around you to help you to help you yeah see and look at this that it's in the stars whatever is going on here pisces it's written in the stars i feel um and and this is about you connecting with something higher than yourself okay so tell me more about ten of swords releasing releasing things that no longer serve you in the sense of any pain any hurt anything from your childhood and i don't mean that in a way that oh just just let it go you know i know i've said that before it's not that easy the work does have to be done pisces okay um and just this well of memories is popping out here remember the wise witches whose lives were cruelly ceased and i feel like there's something that has happened to you in your lifetime pisces that was unfair and it wasn't deserved look at this rising up wow wow there you go pisces this is you rising up man like what else do i say i don't even know I can, what do i add to that you know um but with also the cave of echoes here this card here um your heart has a song to sing and i feel like when i was reading that card there's something within you that that 
it, it's sort of like in a sense haunts you and it's always there and it's always bugging you and this may not even be people around you who are bugging you this could be this thing that keeps popping up and coming back unresolved issues that you haven't looked at that you just want to ignore um, I feel as though with this Pisces that you can actually, um, you can, you see, okay, let me just explain this here. See how the storm is behind her here, right? Doesn't matter that it's a female, whether you're male or female, doesn't matter, okay? The storm here is, is, is behind her, but it's also above her. Okay, and, and I kind of see that for you as it as it weighing heavy on you. Okay, but what happens is as you do the shadow work and release these ten of swords that have been absolutely hammered into you, man, hammered, right? Um, you are able to sort of get into the eye of the storm and use that opportunity to break through it. Okay, and you will find that there are some parts of the storm and the storm represents whatever it is that keeps bugging you, this echo within, okay, that keeps hounding you to be looked at. Um, it's sort of like you'll be able to then use that to help yourself rise up, to help maybe other people to strengthen the core of who you are okay so this is yeah and and this will be the thing that you pay the least attention to okay to go oh that didn't really bother me that didn't oh there we are card just went flying let me see if I can get another card before I go and pick it up just in case we both go flying oh and then we go it did <laughs> okay Pisces one of them has landed upside down so I haven't turned that over yet okay but the first one that came out is the two of swords here okay and this is exactly what I'm talking about here Pisces it's like this thing this ten of swords right um, is just absolutely picking away at you and 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 it's like look at me look at me look at me okay and there's I feel like Pisces there's certain things that you have looked at granted absolutely it's not that um, you know you haven't addressed certain things but this particular thing is really niggling at you Okay, and, and for some of you, it's sort of like there's a little bit of a, um, of a minimizing it, like, of, it, it, because, I say that because there's two crows here, there's not ten, okay, and it's sort of like you're going, oh, it's only two crows, it doesn't really matter, that wasn't, in the biggest scheme of things, that was nothing compared to, say, this, but there was a massive impact on you from whatever it is that is niggling away at you, okay? Um, and I feel like it's time to take the blindfolder off and look at this now, okay? Um, and this is going to help you rise up and look at this empress here. Again, throw the gender out the window, okay? This empress is here, ready to birth something new. It's like Pisces, you have the whole world in your hands. You have... The whole world that you could sort of um, conquer and um, and so long as these things are niggling at you and you're not addressing them and looking at them you won't be able to actually achieve what it is that you want to achieve because there is there is something that um, I feel like you would like to pursue or go ahead with but um, there's the shadow work that needs to be done in order for you to do that, okay? Manifestation, yes, Pisces, yes, and that was exact. I'm not surprised that came out really. Um, when we're talking about what is it? Um, the echoes, was it the echoes? 
oh, I was talking about it earlier and I can't remember which one it was, but being aware of your spoken word, right? Being aware of what you're putting out there. Really, um, there's this, wow, I have never noticed this before with this card. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it looks like there's this owl here. Or is it a person? No, it looks like an owl to me. And um, and I feel like there's this, there's this wisdom within you that needs to be projected out. But what's happening right now is the shadow work is getting in the way, right? Do the shadow work. And, and I, I just wonder if some of you are already going through this. Some of you may very well be going through a dark night of the soul. Okay, and, and keep going. That's all I want to say about this, man. Keep going because um, what will happen is you will come out of that and you will rise up, right? And the power of manifestation. Now, Pisces, manifestation is not just about um, saying, oh, oh, this is what I want. You know, I want a new car, for example. Right, I want a new car. Um and then expecting it to come. I want a new car. Put a picture up. Oh, that's my new car. I want it. I want it. Right? This is about, you know, because some for some of you, there's something inside of you that doesn't quite believe that you're going to get that new car. There's this thing of like, well, how is that going to happen? Oh, you know, I really, 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 really want it so bad that it has to come. But there's things inside of you that are still blocking that, okay? And um, and on top of that, Pisces, the biggest thing that the universe will respond to, and I know there's heaps out there that will, might not include this or might say otherwise, but the biggest thing that the universe will respond to is your vibration. So if your vibration is if, if you're still in this storm here and there are things that you're ignoring, it is impacting your vibration. Okay, the cave of echoes here, right? And the well of memories, that's what it was, the manifestation. You know, wh whatever it is that you are putting out is what is going to come to you. So if you want, you know, and, and let's not really focus on material things. That was just an example. But if there's a, um, a particular way of living that you would like to live um, and you can't quite get there, look at what it is that you are not working through, Pisces, so that you can clear that so that what it is that you want has an avenue to come in. Because right now you're in the storm. And there's no way the sun sh can shine through while you're standing in these clouds, okay? They need to be cleared so that you can manifest what it is that you want to manifest, okay? Tell me more about manifesting or manifestation for the Pisces. Thank you. What is this card? Temperance. Yes. Balance, Pisces. Balance, right? Patience as well. You know, really... Um, kind of purposefully looking at what it is that you want and why you want it. You know, what is it going to do for you? For example, a new car. What is that, that going to do for you? Like if you're looking, wanting to get a new car, for example, because you feel like it's going to make you feel fulfilled, it's only going to be short-lived because those external wants are not what we need internally, okay? So be very aware of that, okay? Um, also, I want to say about this is that whatever it is that you are trying to manifest, is this going to help you on with your sole purpose or not? Really consider that. And I know you're going, well, a car would. A car totally would. <laughs> um, but you know it's really it's it goes so much deeper than that yeah oh we've got the nine of swords here too yep um so this is the thing okay yeah see I feel like in your awakened state you're kind of going I want this and I want that and and it's all going to be wonderful and when I get this and and I'm going to be able to spread my wings and fly and then behind closed doors at night you're 
you've still got the shadow work here that needs to be done right you've got all this here bugging you deep down inside and it's actually stopping this from transpiring into your life okay next card for Pisces here please in relation to this reading redemption wow see this is this energy of this rising up again for me right um it's really interesting because i'm also getting a sense of vulnerability from this and the other thing is pisces i feel as though throughout your life um or lifetimes you've worn many masks and you've worn these masks to um, kind of go, oh, well, this is going to suit this situation, so I'll wear this mask and this is going to suit this situation, so I'll wear this mask and this will impress this person and that will impress that one. But it's not really who you truly are. And I feel as because you've been hidden in this cloud, okay, and the shadow is weighing you down. Okay, and I feel as though this redemption here is, um, oh, we've got New Dawn at the bottom of the deck here. Awesome. Just so I'd show you that because I, interestingly enough, placed it upside down. Anyhow, um, yeah, and I really feel like this is going to be, you know, honestly, the work is totally worth it. Seriously, the work is worth it. You know, don't settle for less, Pisces. You're worth more than that. Queen of Swords. Yeah, man. See, she knows. She knows her truth. She knows who she is. She knows. She's done this work, right? She knows. Like, like the Queen of Cups. Yeah. She has gathered up all the goodness and chucked it in her cup. The Queen of Swords knows how to protect that. Okay. She knows how to... Um, she knows her truth. And there's this energy, Pisces, of you tending to try to bling things up with your rose-coloured glasses and not really want to face the truth. Yeah? Strength. Strength, Pisces. Yeah, I feel like this is you, again, putting on these different masks and it takes strength to take the masks off. It takes strength to do this work. It takes strength to rise up. But you do have it within you. Okay, you have it within you to create the life that you want, Pisces. Okay, please don't settle. You are, are, are here to accomplish much more on this earth than just to do the daily grind and um, there's there's a lot more waiting for you but you're too some of you are too afraid of the work that needs to be done um, or this one particular thing that you believe doesn't affect you but it actually really does and I feel like once you release yourself from that you'll be like oh my gosh why did I not do that X amount of time ago, right? So, sorry, my got butter fingers now. Okay, so next card for Pisces, please. Nice rites of passage. Powerful man, rites of passage. For those of you watching this video, see here's that. What I see is the owl's eyes again. I don't even know if I can describe this power that I feel about you, Pisces. There's, you were born with such an innate, pure connection with, it's sort of like, you know, you have wisdom. But then there's 
wisdom. And that's what you have, is this wisdom. <laughs> it's all I can, it's the only way I can describe what I'm getting here. You are plugged into something that is beyond what you could even imagine. And it's right there waiting for you. It's right there waiting for you to clear the way. This has suddenly become very clear to me, and I've never seen this in the card before. And this is like this lion, right? This is about you um, voicing, voicing who you are, standing up and truly owning that. I don't know if you remember, I don't know why the Lion King is coming up in these readings. <laughs> this is the second time, probably because I watched it not long ago, but I watched it for a reason, clearly. Um, in The Lion King, when Simba hadn't got his roar yet, and then he discovered his roar, um, that's what I feel like is the same with you. You've got this thing in you, and you just haven't discovered it yet because there's all these storm clouds in the shadow that needs to be cleared away. Um, and then you'll be able to stand in that power. And it's, it's, it's a very natural, authentic, organic energy. It's from, it's, it's from pure source and it's actually the, the essence of who you are coming through. This is powerful, man. Powerful. Oh, I just caught it in time. We've got the wheel here. We've got the wheel. See, this is what, this is what can happen for you. Now, this may actually be happening for some of you. You've been working on stuff and the wheel's about to turn and, turn and you're going to be on top of that wheel. Boy, oh boy, look at that. And if you're yet to work through this, this is what is coming for you. This is what you do it for. Amazing. Absolutely amazing, Pisces. Okay, one more card for Brights of Passage for Pisces, please. And... I want to say um, to Pisces that, sorry, let me just go back to this. Noticing here that this is like the shadow, right? And, um, and then this has been brought into balance with the light. It's sort of like being able to get a handle on everything, you know, um, all these, these lives that you've had, everything that you've been through is getting you to this point, yeah, this point where you are then honoured with the gifts that you require in order to execute your mission on this earth. Wow, this is magician. We've got the magician come out. I'm not going to take it because I don't like the way it come out, but manifesting, right? Um, the, the one thing I do want to say about this is just be mindful of any um, manipulation from people around you. The other thing, though, is that here, ah, yes, okay. So in the shadow is these gifts that you haven't discovered yet, and this is also coming out in The Magician. Okay, I'm going to take it, but I'm going to take another card here. Oh, yeah, hang on a minute. <laughs> the high priestess, yeah, man. Connecting in with that intuition. And, you know, you're not going to be aware of, you know, what this is going to be. It's It may be a little bit daunting because it's like, holy heck, can I even do this? You know, little old me? Yes, you can. Because you're not little old you. You are Pisces. You are rising up. Right, you have this rite of passage. And with the high priestess coming up, my man, you've got, what have you got here? You've got temperance 
you've got the wheel, you've got strength here, the empress. Like this is massive. This is a massive life change in your life for the better, for so much good. And it, it, like, wow, man, this is absolutely incredible. Um, and I really do feel as though there's um, there's there's a real need for you, especially with the shadow work, to not withdraw. Okay, not um, sort of go into um, this not to go into your cave okay because cave of echoes yeah um there's this song to sing and what does Wayne Dyer always say do not die with your music still in you yeah and so I feel like and maybe this is where the retreat will do you good maybe it's a healing retreat that you need in order to get the shadow work up and going or to complete it. And the last card here we have is compassion. Compassion for yourself. Compassion for others. But first and foremost, compassion for yourself. Look at this beautiful card here, Pisces. Right? This is you being gentle and loving with yourself. You know, swans are so graceful and, and, and beautiful. And I feel like this is an energy that is really important for you to allow yourself to receive because um, and to put out because once you receive it you can then put it out there right and I just wonder if this is part of this rites of passage um, tell me more about compassion for Pisces please three of pentacles yeah um, yeah working with other people working with other people to help you achieve what it is you want to achieve, okay? Working with people who are compassionate for you, okay, and what it is that you're trying to do, people who maybe are experienced in that. You don't want to go to any old Tom, Dick or Harry or just some Joe blogs down the road. You want people who are experienced who are going to be able to hold the space for you to actually do this, okay? One more card for compassion for Pisces, please. One more card for Pisces. For compassion, please. Is it going to come? Yes, here we go. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this reminds me of something that has come up. Uh, the Well of Memories. The Well of Memories. This is this is this is you leaving leaving a legacy behind, right? Leaving um you know, what it is that you're growing and um, what it is that you can accomplish in your lifetime is going to impact every single being as they come after you through the generations. It's going to make a huge difference. I don't think you realize how huge it's going to be. So this is so important for you to do this work, okay? Um, because this is what you're here for and this is what you were made for. Okay, Pisces. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.